This is uh, Nigel and Andrew from Gaia. Uh, what you can see here is a Generation 2 radiant power panel. It was formed uh, from the research we gained on the Generation 1, which was costed off the shelves. This was purposely designed to do one function. That is to take the background stellar radiation that is ambient across the planet and convert it into an energy source which goes along the red and back cable here at the video. Uh, this is an additional part to the radiant power panel just to show that the product output and we have a hundred and forty six volts DC. So we have is the plus and minus cable coming off. As you can see, it's just connected the two probes and back to the meter. Thank you. Right, what we can see here is can you see the light bridge just starting to illuminate inside? Sorry about, there we go. That's the light bridge charging up into the U. The energy coming from the antenna, this side, it comes out of here. So we've got Titan energy this side. We have electron based energy coming this side. And we're coming through a NAVO. And we can see we have 62.2 volts being charged, 62.3 as the product output as an uh, DC electron supply. And this actually shows that the light bridge will hold its charge irrespective of being connected or not. Uh, the next section shows the um, antenna providing the Titan transfer across the light bridge out as an electrical source into a managed mass storage energy device. Of two cables coming out we have uh, the electron energy being fed here and the second cable is a just a monitor cable showing that we have 15 volts DC available we now come across the energy goes across through a set of meters into a commercial AC adapter this AC inverter now is providing power onto the cell phone which we can see quite merrily is charging. Where's your charge symbol? Yes. Right. There we go. We've got a charge symbol 69% charging. And at the same time, we are also powering uh, a secondary device. As we see, we've got the red and the blue light. Blue says it's an operational. Red saying the system is charging. And we're also taking a 230 volt supply which you can see is 220 volts stable and we have a zero or nominal drawing rate on the ampage maybe a quarter of one amp and there is no drift and no change in the power output on the ampage this is commercial lighting uh, section of the presentation we have the energy coming through off the radiant power panel it then goes through the ETI, the Energy Transfor uh, Transformer Interface, and is converted into electron-based energy. We have a monitor cable and we have a power cable. And they go through the meters into a commercial AC inverter, providing the power. And what we're going to do is take this domestic light, which is now to be disconnected. We're going across this power cable here, and we're going to plug the same light in there, and there is a commercial light running on background stellar radiation. Thank you. Uh, the next section uh, shows a uh, DC lighting rather than commercial AC light. And again, through the ETI, uh, through the management distribution. And as you can see, we're a nice stable supply coming out. And here is a commercial 12 volt LED disassembled. Uh, this device here, the part has been tuned exactly to the power voltage of that and this is what happens when we connect it. And there we go, it's uh, a very very bright light, I'll just cover this off for the camera. As you can see we've got no fluctuation or deviation 
uh, on there and we're losing no ampage whatsoever. Once again, just to show you the brightness and now I'll now disconnect. Thank you. Uh, the next section is to show the system working in the load. We have 230 volts, we're drawing nominal ampage and we have 15 volts DC. What we've now configured is got the AC converter going into a power strip so we can have a monitor and a device and a load. At the same time we've still got a charging circuit running and you can see we've got a, uh, a charge lamp working on the telephone and a charge lamp working on the camera and the telephone is successfully now charged to 77%. What we're now going to do is demonstrate the system working under what's known as a torque load. So we're taking a high torque device and we're going to drill a few holes just to see the effect of what goes on. We're drawing five steady amps. voltage after drilling all the holes has immediately restored itself so the charge rate is as close to instant as we can get it. And when we take all of the technology and condense it into a single unit, an RRP, an ETI and an MDB, we can make a truly portable power supply. Here is a commercial telephone that has never been connected to a commercial power supply and is all we've got is the powers coming off and the ETI and the MDB is inside and this is now being run and charged for at least three solid months so that's a quarter of a year and has never been connected to a commercial power supply at all. Thank you.